I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful soft low ponytail on ghoul. So we're going to begin by just sectioning away these, by separating away these side sections and I just clip those out of the way. But if you were doing this as a trial run and you didn't, you weren't quite sure where your client wanted her parting, or if she wasn't quite sure, then you'd do, you know, our usual setting pattern where we set the panel at the front here, do our two side sections, and then work on the crown and the back. So I'm going to use my style and care lotion, just a little spritz of our silhouette style and care lotion. So I'm using my 25 millimeter Diva tongs. Just using them to smooth out the hair. So we'll just push the hair. We just want to get a little bit of root lift. So if we just push that hair forwards just a little bit. I don't want too much of a curl here. So I'm just going to take the tongs to the end and roll the tongs back down the hair. So this is our traditional wind. Now there are lots of different ways of curling the hair and it really depends on the final, you know, on the end result that you're looking for. Roll this hair up, keeping it in the curl and clipping that in position. And don't worry about these little bits here falling over the side. I'm not going to clip them in because sometimes I find when you clip them in, you get a little kink in the hair here. And when we bring this hair back, we just want it to come back and be nice and smooth and sleek. For this style, I'm not looking for a lot of curl. Certainly, so bridal hair isn't about doing quick kind of 15 minute styles. It's about taking your time making sure the hair looks gorgeous, prepping the hair. And when you've created the style that she loves, just make sure that you write everything down. It's good to take photos, don't get me wrong. So you want to take photos of your styles, but really the photograph just tells you how to achieve that, the finished look. So you need to make sure you write lots of notes down so you know exactly what you're going to do for hair prep exactly where she wants you know maybe her parting in the hair how much curl she wants which product you used so make sure you get detailed notes of everything so that on the wedding day you can recreate the perfect style so I'm using quite big sections here because I don't want a really curly look. Final section. So, that's, so I'm using the traditional wind and if you're not sure how to do this using tongs, then check out our videos in the hair prep section. Or if you want to do a curly blow dry, you can have a look in our blow dry section. And we're almost there. So that's our hair prep done at the back. I'm going to come back and do our front sections as we've come to finish the style. And I've left the hair now just to cool down for maybe 10, 15 minutes or so. But if girl were getting married today and I was working with the bridesmaids as well, then I could prep her hair and then maybe leave it in, could be in these curls and the pin curls for maybe an hour or two hours, get all the bridesmaids done and then come back and finish working with your bride. Take all these clips out. Now at this stage you might find, so we've got a lovely kind of glossy curl here. So if you find that the hair is a little bit fly away or if there's any kind of fluffiness to the hair and you can just get a little smear of curl cream just using the John Frieda Frizz Ease Secret Agent Cream just to smooth down the ends 
of the curls, the ends of the hair here. I find it's a lot easier if you do this as you take the curls out rather than getting everything out. You'll notice I'm not kind of pulling my fingers through the hair and separating all the curls because I want to keep them quite big and bouncy like that. I find that if you pull your fingers through the curls you can end up with a lot of kind of frizz and fly away hair and I want to avoid that. I just want a little bit of back combing here at the root not too much because I'm not really looking for a bouffant style I want to style with a little bit of movement and a little bit of lift. And there are different ways you, you can achieve the lift. If you're not sure about how to back comb properly, we have a tutorial for that. You could also maybe, if you want to get a little bit of root lift, you could maybe use some crimpers in the hair. That would be the other option. But be careful of using crimpers. We do have a video on getting volume with crimpers. But be very careful that you don't come kind of too close to the... the sections of hair that are going to be on show because although using crimpers can it, you do get a lot of body and a lot of volume and it can look great on camera in reality when people look at the hair it can look very kind of you can see the little crimp marks on the hair so as i say it can look great on camera but not so good in real life and our brides need we need to make sure their hair looks great on camera but more importantly it looks great so I've got a little bit of height here and then I can just and I've just secured that with a couple of bobby pins so I'm using my L'Oreal Infinium Stronghold hairspray which I find is really good to just help to hold these little PC sections in place and I don't want I just want this to have a little bit of movement so I don't necessarily want to get big sections that I'm pulling out too far so I'm just going to lift up a section of hair here so the section of hair it's from behind the ear and also coming down to the nape of the neck and I'm going to take this section in and twist and take it over the top of the bobby pins that I've put here and you'll notice that I've brought the bobby pins down we've got a little bit of height here and I've secured the bobby pins quite low and this isn't exactly a ponytail but it kind of looks like a thick wide ponytail so I'm going to bring this hair over and secure it just here so I'm just going to twist and pull the hair here and then I'm going to go in and secure the hair I've got my finger inside the twist of the hair here and with my bobby pin so I'm pushing against my client she's pushing back against me a little bit so I can get a little bit of pressure onto the head so when I slide the bobby pin underneath my finger I make sure that it's actually going against the scalp holding that hair nice and securely to the scalp there if you're not 100% sure, you can get another bobby pin and you can go over that first one at a right angle. So I'm using black bobby pins to create this style because I find they hide a lot better in the hair. But just so that you can see what I'm doing a little bit easier, so I would slide the first bobby pin in. I'm going, just going to show you with one of these brown ones because they do reflect the light a lot more so you can see a bit better. So I'm going to slide the bobby pin in, so this is underneath the hair. We want to make sure that all the bobby pins are hidden as we put them in. Because then you don't have to come back and hide them with another section of hair. So we're going to slide the bobby pin in underneath the hair and kind of underneath our finger. And, then, and if it doesn't feel quite secure enough, you would come back in with your second bobby pin at a right angle to the, to the first one. You don't actually have to open it, you can just slide it over that pin and grip it into place. So it's at a kind of a crossover like that and you'll find that will hold the hair a lot better and there won't be any movement in the hair. So again, I'm set, getting a section here from behind the ear. I'm leaving these side sections out of the equation for now. And we're taking this down towards the nape of the neck so we do end up with a kind of, let me just cross in front there, 
kind of ponytail effect. You twist it in such a way that you like, that, you know, that this, the, the end of the hair drops down nicely to join the rest of the ponytail. Keep my thumb flat on the head and slide that underneath my thumb against the scalp. That's it, holding that curl in position. Be careful here, we have to watch out, you can see here, it just so happens that there's a little highlighted section of hair there. There's like a little bit of a, an edge here. When you're creating bridal hairstyles, you're kind of trying to look at the overall style. So we don't necessarily want big jumps in the hair anywhere. So try to get used to looking at the whole, that's better, the whole of the profile. And sometimes it's the small things that make for that totally beautiful style. And also you want to remember, we need to adapt our style to suit our client's face shapes. And our brides are going to be all shapes and sizes. And we've got to make everybody look and feel gorgeous. When your get, client gets her phone out and starts looking about how the front of that style looks that she's seen that she loves on Instagram, we need to pull her away from her phone and get her to look in the mirror. So then we can adapt the style to suit her particular face shape. So we've got our little ponytail here. Simple, beautiful little style, I think. Now we're going to adapt the style at the front to suit our client's face shape. I think what we might do is use, I think, Gul, I think it suits you to have a little bit of hair down, yeah? We'll keep that um, slightly off-centre parting. So I'm just going to curl the hair here so it just comes gently back. In keeping with our hair prep theme, I don't just want to pull this hair back without having done something to it first. So I want it to look glossy and healthy like the rest of the style. So don't try and cut corners when it comes to doing bridal hair. Take your time. Don't forget to use a little bit of heat protector. So I'm using the Style and Care Lotion by Silhouette. For small sections of hair. Just going to do the top first of all. And Ghoul's hair likes to curl. So you can see here how, although I've gone over it with the straighteners, it's still holding that curl. That's better. Just a little bit of soft movement. And you'll, get, you'll have another client whose hair doesn't want to curl at all. So then you might need to kind of use a stronger hold hairspray, twist this around and just work out where I'd like that hair to sit. Keep your bobby pins handy. Keeping an eye in the mirror as well. So I think I might just pull that out just a little, a little bit better. Now, if you find that, you know, you like the simplicity of just one sweep here, I could have brought all this section back as one and done just done that one big twist here, but these sections here at the side are just a little bit shorter here. So if your lady has got layers cut into her hair, you might not even be able to get the hair all this way back. You might kind of stop just halfway here if the hair isn't long enough to come all the way to the back. But we do have tutorials showing you how to work with the side sections when they're a little bit short. We've still got a little bit of hair here. So I'm just going to tuck this away because I don't really want this poking out. So I just popped a bobby pin on there and I'm just going to take it under and in it, and hide it underneath this section here. So we've got our nice little sweep coming across here. So now let's start on our other side section. So I'm going to go over these sections here and I might use slightly bigger sections this time so I don't get too much of a curl. A little bit of heat protector first. So depending on your client's hair type and how she wants the front section, remember I'm just working with these two side sections, but you might have your centre panel here and you might be deciding where she wants to have her part. She might even want the hair coming all the way back. So remember to work with the mirror, see what suits your client and where the hair needs to 
should be sitting and where it suits her best. And remember, you can always get feedback from your clients. So don't feel that you need to have all the answers because your client kind of knows her face shape better than we do. So definitely get feedback from your clients when it comes to working with these front sections of hair. We do have a tutorial on how to kind of adapt your style to suit different face shapes. So whether you're working with somebody who's maybe got a fat face or a thin face or big ears, we need to be able to create a style that looks gorgeous on everyone. Let's just double check before I secure this side section. I just want to check that how much hair it's how much hair I need to have down. I think maybe I've got a little bit too much hair down there, but I can always come back and tuck that away. I think like this, and I think actually down over her ear looks lovely. So, that's it. so make sure you've allowed plenty of time to finish these last sections of hair so that everything looks gorgeous. So let's just decide now, do we like it pinned up there or do we like it pinned down? Actually, I quite like it down a little bit lower. To be creative, the key is to make sure that you're, you prep the hair properly and the hairstyle is secure. So make sure all your bobby pins as you go along are secure and the hair is held really well in place. Because if, if those first bobby pins that we put in were loose and weren't doing their job properly, it's like kind of trying to build a house on wobbly foundations. So everything will then kind of move around. So make sure that each bobby pin is secure and don't move on to the next section unless you're confident that the section you've just secured is, is secured well. Now, I do need to come back and finish the front sections though. Now, see, I actually think it looks nicer with less down. So let's take a little bit of this away here. Okay, actually, I think that looks really pretty. I'm kind of thinking this bit may be a little bit long, so I might just pin that back a little bit. So we've kind of got a ponytail effect. So we've got a beautiful ponytail effect without actually having a ponytail anywhere in the hair. I'm going to show you how to create another quick style after you finish your ponytail. So if your bride can't decide whether she wants to have her hair up or down, she can actually have both. So I'm going to show you a quick bonus style so you'll be able to offer your bride an alternative for her wedding day. So first of all, you want to create your little ponytail first of all, and, or your half up, half down style if you've left, maybe you've left a little bit more hair down. So create your down style first of all, making sure that everything is really secure and your bride is happy with the style because this is the style she's going to go back to in the evening. So make sure it's perfect and she's happy with the style. And then I'm going to use a little kind of mini donut. This style has to be nice and secure first. I'm using a blonde donut today so you can actually see what I'm doing. But normally I would use a dark donut. If your bridesmaids, the bridesmaids are going to be taking this hair down, this changing the hairstyle. So if they're at all worried about which pins to take out and your bride's got lots of hair, you could use a blonde donut because it's going to be hidden by all the hair anyway and it will just mean that it'll be easy for the bridesmaids to see what they're doing. So I'm going to get the donut and I'm going to pull the ponytail through the donut. Trying to keep the hair smooth and sleek and gorgeous. And then the donut is going to just be secured to the hair here. So I haven't put a ponytail in the hair here first. If I put a hairband in the hair to hold it together, it will leave a mark on the hair. So when she comes to take the style down later, she'll have a little ridge on the hair. So we definitely don't want that. So, so you need to put a little bit of pressure on the donut. Use your bobby pins and slide the bobby pins in, picking up a little bit of the donut and pushing it along the scalp at the back. But you're going to get your bobby pins in first and then you're going to use one of your hair pins, your strong straight hair pins 
And you're going to go in, pick up a little bit of the donut and come out. So a little stitch of donut almost and go underneath that bobby pin that you've got against the scalp. And you just need a couple of those on each side going underneath the bobby pin that we put in that was our anchor and now that's nice and secure. So all your bridesmaids will need to do is take out the pins that are secure in the donut there. They don't need to touch this crossover bit of hair. And then I'm going to keep in the curls here in these nice chunky sections. So I'm just going to pick up, separate the ponytail into two. Depending on your, the amount of hair that your client has, you might do it into two sections, maybe even three. And we're going to secure the curls to the donut. And we can use the donut then to secure the hair. That's it. Using a bobby pin, or you could use a hair pin here to do your up and over. But you're going to use your donut to help you secure the hair. That's better. Into position. Quick and easy. Are there any bits? Keep an eye on the style from different angles and just cover the donut using the sections of hair. So we can twist the curls a little bit, loosen them. So if you want a more textured bun, if you want to keep the bun smooth, you can just cover the donut with smooth sections of hair. But if you want a more textured style, you can twist and pull We don't want any back combing in here because remember she's going to take her hair down later. That's better. And no texturizing product. So you want know, any texturizing products and you don't really even want any stronghold hairspray, which is why the donut is, is invaluable because it means you can secure the hair and yet it can be taken down easily later. If your client doesn't have a lot of hair, then I would definitely recommend doing the twist and pull that I've done here. Because it makes it look like you've got a lot more hair. And I'm just going to use my regular hold L net so that when it comes out, it's not kind of too crispy. And she's still got a lovely curl there. And I think that's it. That's our second style. And it looks good. Might just need one more pin here, but less is more. So the donut gives us a little bit more of an anchor, so you can get a really soft, relaxed looking style, especially if your client's got very thick, heavy hair like Ghoul, or if they have very thin, fine hair and you want to make the hair look a little bit kind of, the bun look a little bit bigger, and you want to make the hair look thicker and a donut again can be invaluable. Have a look from different angles and I think we might put a little accessory just here maybe. Remember to look at your hair from different angles. Don't touch our little crossover there because remember we want that to stay in position. After the ceremony you could then take the pins out of the donut which is just hiding under here take the pins out from the donut and release the hair and go back to your lovely soft ponytail. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, just click like and subscribe and join me on my next video.